do demons come from? Okay, the first uh, first reference I've got there is Revelation chapter 12, verses 3 and 4. Then another sign appeared in heaven. There was a great fiery red dragon, that's Satan, having seven heads and ten horns, and on its head were seven crowns. Its tail swept away a third of the stars in heaven and hurled them to earth. When Satan fell, he took a third of the angelic host with it. We do not know how many of them there are, but we know that they fell with Satan, and it was a third of the created angelic host. Angels are created beings. Their job is to serve their master. Two-thirds of them still serve their master, which is God, and a third of them serve their master, which is Satan. The next, uh, Jesus talks about in Luke chapter 10, I watched Satan fall from heaven like lightning. Okay? Jesus saw Satan fall. And then also in 1 Timothy 5, this is a fun one, and I'm not going to go so deep into it as I want to. I solemnly charge you before God and Christ Jesus and the elect angels to observe these things without prejudice, doing nothing out of favoritism. People ask, can angels choose to do right or wrong? Some angels, two-thirds of them, were elect. They could not choose to do wrong. One-third of the angels were not elect. They did have the choice to sin, and as man's nature or anybody's nature that's not God goes, they picked the sinful route, and they went with Satan. So the angels that fell, that are now evil spirits, and I'm not going to go into why I can say this with all the verses, but they are incapable of reconciliation with God. You don't move from a demon back to an angel. It doesn't work that way. This is a one-way ticket. Once they fell, they fell. They cannot be reconciled to God. And the angels that are there aren't going to fall. They're the elect angels. They're just going to do good and serve God. That's where demons come from. They come from the angelic host, and they fell with Satan. 